got a separate microphone announcement for this. Okay. Announcement of 2023. Toby's dead. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were going to. I thought you were going to announce your um, performance this Friday. <laughs> no, my dog died. <laughs> Sorry, Lou. Toby's dead, Judge. Dead. You know how much I loved that corgi. I know. He was like a brother to me. He was a brother to me. I'm so sorry. He's dead. It's not, don't. It's not funny. I, that's just the Do way. You know, this reminds me of Nana's dead. Nana's dead. Nana's dead. So mum and dad, like, Franco's got no awareness of, like, what's appropriate. He just sends in our family group chat, like, no warning, just being like, we're at the vet now, like, it's time to say goodbye to Toby. And I'm like, what the actual fuck is going on? And then mum's just, then dad just sends a oh, video of Jill, like, hugging Toby, like, crying. Jesus. And then, like, sorry, I'm not laughing. Like, no, but do it. I cried. Like, I bawled my eyes out. Like, yeah. I love that little fucker. Yeah. You see, every time I see a corgi, it would be like, Bondi Toby or, like, Full Close Toby or, like, Paddington Toby. Um, but a few weeks, like, a week later, they send you. It's not funny. It's not funny. Toby's dead, but he's in heaven. He had a great life. But they send you, the vet sends you um, his paw prints, like, on a, on a like, <laughs> piece of paper, and it's like, Toby Delton. <laughs> Is that the funniest thing? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It was just like his little Paul Prince, Toby Delton. It's yeah. like, we know how much you loved him. Like, RIP Toby Delton. And mum got him groomed the day before he had to be put down. Like, he looked gorgeous. Can I say something for nothing? Mm. I saw that photo that you you sent me the photo of, I think maybe you, your mum and your dad with yeah. you. Yeah. How old was he? Thirteen. He did. He he, he, he looked aged good. well. He did age. He looked well. like a puppy. Yeah, yeah. So like heaps of people were DMing me, being like, "Oh, you looked so young. Like I'm so sorry." I'm like, "What are you gonna nah. do with the fucking paw prints?" Jill probably frame them. I, I'm not even kidding you. She'll frame them. <laughs> she calls me the other day and she goes, "It's just lonely, you know. Like, I'll wake up in the middle of the night for a midnight snack, and Toby will come join me, or like someone will be like scuttering at the end of the bed, or she'll get home from work and like, you know, he's there running around. Like, it's just sad. You yeah." Know? Yeah, he was a part of her life for thirteen years and mine. Correct. It, it's it's um. R.I.P. Toby. <laughs> Toby's dead in heaven now. We loved you, Toby Delton. <laughs> Just practicing for Friday night. Yeah, fuck. You keep going. I might join Toby. <laughs> Do you know, I've, this, is a, this is a relatively controversial take on this whole oh, thing. Oh, careful what you say here. No, it's no, sensitive. Nothing, and Jill will be listening. This is nothing to do with Toby. This is more as a general thing. Mm. Because I, I, it's a bit different when you grow up on a farm with dogs, I reckon, a little bit. Because you deal with a lot of death of dogs. Do they die faster? Well, there's just... With oh, work, get, dogs and stuff, they get shot. bitten by snakes or they get fucking bitten. They get shot or... They get eaten by cows. You know what? Yeah, yeah eaten yeah. by cows. A lot of dogs. A lot of dogs. I reckon well, all those kelpies get, eaten by cows. They could get stampled when they're herding. Stampled. Stamp, they stamp. could get stampled. <laughs> Trampled? Trampled when there they're herding. Yeah, or stampled. When they're herding, they could get stamped on. That's co that's correct. Buff. You know, there's a lot that can happen. Squash. So I'm a little bit... Desensitized. Well, I had to. I distanced myself from the emo. Like I love dogs and I love my dogs, but I kind of, I kind of distanced myself emotionally a little mm. bit. So, how many dogs have you had through your generation or life? Fucking heaps. Really? I've cried over one, and I was eight. What was it called? Let me guess. Bugsy. No. Bubsy. No. Bruce. No. Bingo. No. A lot of bees. <laughs> go. Let's go another letter. Give me a. Give me a hint. M. Margot. No. Mickey. No. Minx. No. Mikey. <laughs> no. Molly. Oh. Yeah. She was the guy Human retriever. Name. Dad ran over and like snapped her back in half. Oh, don't tell us that much detail. Yeah, but she was like walked. It was real sad. And she was like walking at the back and she wasn't yelping. And we're like, oh, maybe she'll be okay. And then I was sitting on the fence post waiting for mum and dad to come back from the vet. And um, just Molly bawling, didn't come bawling my eyes out. How old were you? Eight. That's okay. Is it appropriate that I cried at 29? Of course it is. For Toby D. People, you know. Should I have a funeral for him? Especially, you know, like. Mm, like I did just Herbert. Just bury him, I suppose. Or well, he's, he's dead now. He's, he'll be ashes. Yeah. 
He Did you get him cremated? I think Jill got him cremated. No, we got him stuffed. He's on the wall. That's what you should do. Can you do that? Fucking oath. You know, no, nah, actually, I won't say that. I think it's a bit fucked. What? I was just saying, you know how, like, you go to someone's house and, like, the farm and they'll have, like, a big, like, deer or, like, a bull yeah. on the wall? Yeah. Imagine yeah, you coming to my house, it's just Toby. Oh, yeah. Is that Correct. normal? Or I you should skin normal. him and then use his skin as, like, a little, like, bath mat or something. You come over to my house, I've got a fourth titty. It's just Toby. It's just Toby. <laughs> just Toby. No, um, I've only got one titty now, FYI. Oh, swear proud to God, of you, bud. Swear to God, I only got one, Bonnie. Oh, really? Yeah. Only Bonnie? Yeah, had the other two, gone, done. Fuck, mate. Yep. I'm pretty proud of you. Thanks. That's a big step. It's a big old step. With the taxidermy, my mate Stubby, Stubby Skulls. Mm. Um, he, when he was living in Sydney, just loved the fucking oak so much. That was his haunt. And so when he gets back, he's like, let's go to the oak, let's go to the oak. Yeah. He's a big fucker from Lightning Ridge. Shoo. And he's, shoo. his dream, when he dies, his dream, no. this is what he wants. No. He wants to be taxidermied, so he wants to be stuffed. But he wants little um, motors in his eyes, and he wants to be put outside the pub, and his eyes just go back and forth, so he can just watch people go into his favourite pub until the end of time. <laughs> That's his dream. That's so cruel. So it's just big stubby over the door, just <laughs> looking at everyone go in. You don't need a security guard. It's That's just, just him. him. Yeah. <laughs> it's just him. Wait, it, it, like, has that ever happened in the world? What they've like, stuffed a human, put them outside of a pub, put motors in their eyes, so that they can look. <laughs> I don't mean. I just mean the stuffing of a human. Well, it'd be illegal, right? Well, can you decide what you do with yourself when you're dead? Like, if I put in a will, hang me on the wall of the Roho, well, would they have legally to. have to? Get fucked. No, they oh, wouldn't. Okay. No. You going would. into the Roho, enjoying a schnitty? Yes, yeah, see what I mean? Me. It's just you looking there. Okay, g'day, Lou. You going? This one's for you. I'm just feeding you schnitty. Feeding your dead mouth schnitty. How have we got into this? Oh, it's very early on. Very um, early on. But no, they do like the fucking, like, embalming and shit, don't they? That, like, take it, the guts out. You know, all the mummies and shit, mummified bodies. True. And, you know? Oh, yeah, they would have had to, they would have wrapped Toby up in band aids if it was in the Egyptian times. That's a wild sentence you just fucking put to me there. Why? Wrapped Toby up in band aids if it was in the Egyptian times. It just, you think they had band aids? You mean well, bandages? Yeah. Bandages. Bandages. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we, speaking of, um, <laughs> speaking of, I don't know why that made my brain go to board games. Yeah. Played Heads Up the other night. You know, the one where you... Yeah, 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 yeah. Let Pre me guess. I'm really good at yeah, it. Yeah, okay. Right. And then segueing from that, I know that I always say I'm really good at things. I have found my niche. To be fair, there was video evidence of this niche. I have found my niche and I am going to be the 2023 Eastern Suburbs axe throwing champ. I went axe throwing and I was really good. Oh, this is what's fucked me off about it because to all the bedwetters, I know what you're thinking. And you know what I was thinking when I get the text being like, Josh, I'm really good at axe throwing. Then I get the video evidence mm -hmm. and you're hitting bullseyes. Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck? I know. It was actually impressive. I know. I started off shaky, but then do you know what I started doing? So I started holding the axe behind my head Perfect. and then I was – <laughs> and then I was going like this, closing one eye and then opening it up. It's like I'd, I'd like found it exactly the bullseye. Then I'd open both eyes and just go, hey -ya! straight bullseye at least eight times. Fuck. It's my niche. It's my thing. Have you seen the videos of when that shit goes like wrong? Someone throws it and it hits like the back and then it about, bounces back at them. Yeah. That's what I was worried about at first. When I first arrived, I was like, <laughs> I don't know Yours if I can do this. Yours did to bounce back, I don't reckon. Excuse me. They were gr well aimed. I'd watch what you Not say to the 2023 them, Eastern Suburbs X thrower. <laughs> <laughs> it like, when I first arrived, I was terrified, but then you just get the swing of it. But also, it didn't feel very safe. Like, you're in these like you throw little axes, like. Luke. Yeah. <laughs> but like, they were just so chill about it. And then this guy's like, you're a bit close. And I was like, oh, shit. You, yeah, yeah. Come back a bit. Yeah, because you know, they fucking. And then w when I went, like, because you'd take turns, I would like stand back so that I wasn't hit by. The other axe coming at me. You know, like when I was taking points. 
Oh, you'd stand behind the bloke throwing? No, I wouldn't. I'd stand oh, to the what? side. Why? Just in case it bounced back and went through the middle of my face or my heart. Wouldn't you stand behind the person throwing? No, I stood to the a complete side. Oh, right. So there's no away. chance of yeah. it coming for yeah. me. Well, I'd rather it hit him than me. Fucking knows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking knows. Oh, absolutely. No, I'm kidding. That's yeah, I'm proud. Yeah, so, yeah. okay. So and, I think and, hold on. you and I should go together. Yeah, yeah, I'm scared you're going to be way better than me. Oh, but well, it, I that, am. I'm happy to uh, secede that. You know how you would post in stories and stuff, fucking throwing darts, and you're like, look, I'm really good at darts. But you were just hitting the board. No, I was... Were you hitting numbers you wanted to hit? If you go, there's 20, hit 20. Were you hitting 20 or were you just hitting the board? Let's be honest now. I can see by that look. I was hitting the numbers I wanted. No, you're flat out lying. You are lying to me. Okay, I'm lying. Yeah, yeah. But I got it on the board. Just think about Better darts as time. a smaller axe. Yeah, so I need to go like this with the yeah, dart. Yeah, maybe you go like this. Yeah. Maybe that's it. That's the way that's you do the it. New Over the head. But we should go axe throwing together. Yep, I'll do that. I'm really good. Okay. Um, I'm happy to do it. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Take your anger out, you know. Imagine someone's head... No, I didn't because I don't have anyone that I hate or have anger towards. No one. Love and peace and all as well. Oh, is this some New Year's resolution bullshit? Not New Year's resolution. I've just always been a happy, chirpy person, Judge. Do you have any New Year's resolutions? I wrote my goals. I do health, finance, career and relationships. And I wrote them all down on the 30th at the beach on my own. Does that They're sound? pretty original goals. No, I write down things under the headlines. Oh, right. Like, so I'll bullet point what I want. So, you know, I want Or well, what's under relationships? Not telling. What? Well, just like what I the the characteristics I look for in a partner. How many inches? No. <laughs> <laughs> I knew your brain was going to go there, you sicko. What about financially? What are your goals? Like just like how much money I'd like to earn, like what I'd like to happen with the podcast. I'll tell you what, I need to start TikTok. doing. Stop spending the shit. Oh, mate. Fuck me, bro. The After silly the, season. I'm broke and I'm tired. I, I won't look at my bank account. I went for breakfast after having a massive night till 4 a.m. Yep. With a few friends. We went for breakfast at 10 a.m. One of them suggested, let's get margaritas. It's 10 a.m. I respect that. We got cut off from brunch. We had a Brenda. <laughs> we had, who gets cut off from brunch? We had a Brenda. Brunch, brunch Brenda. It was 1 p.m. A Brenda. We'd been there since 10. I think we had nine margaritas each. Fuck off. Yep. And then we got cut off and she came over and was like, oh, we just like stop it between like lunch and dinner and like this. And then I just said, we've been cut off, haven't we? Yeah. And she goes, yeah. So you knew. Yeah. And then we moved from there to the Clavelli Hotel and then went to some other dinner place in Bondi. It was a 10 hour sesh on a day that was meant to be a casual brunch with friends. I fucking respect that. How good's a, Bre a Brenda? A Brenda brunch Everyone Brenda. needs to start doing the Brenda's. Mate. Here are the dog. Brunch benders. Like, that's li like, it's even over the Christmas period and stuff, like, I'm back to work. Over the, over the Christmas periods, and like, as I was saying before, we were just getting up, fucking, you know, 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. There's like Finska, there's cornhole, there's darts. There's I love pool, cornhole. You know what I mean? It's grouse, eh? Really good. And then you'd make your coffee and then, oh, just put some whiskey in that, make that Irish. So you're sipping your coffee, but there's a bit of a kick to it. Yeah. And By 10.30, you are cut up. You are well on your way. You're in the sun, you're drinking, there's music playing. It's just living. But I'm fucked. Yeah. I get paid on Friday and I've got about $110. I won't look at my bank account. And I also missed a payment from TikTok. So I miss it being like, yo, like I'm waiting. And they're like, no, no, it's come through. So I'm, oh, like, so I'm like, whoa. That is the whoa. worst fucking thing. Oh, so feeling. I'm like, wow, I have been spending like I'm Beyonce. Yeah. Big time. Yeah. I get another, I get it. Like I've been drinking like I'm, he's a big drinker. Oliver Reed. Oliver Reed. Don't know who that is. Uh, actor. Okay. And then I've been spending like I'm Beyonce. Yep. And then I've been exercising like I'm fat bastard from. Lured 8. Yeah. Yeah. Like Lured 8. Like Lured 8. Yeah. Funny photo you put up of yeah. Lou, about your old Lou. Do you want me to read you? Dude, some you of know the how I do give you shit. I do give you shit about being a big kid, like mm -hmm. a fat kid and stuff. And I know that you can take it, and it's funny, and it's we laugh about it. 
I saw that photo and I'm like, you were a fat fuck. <laughs> That's what I, I mean. Like people, you were big. people think we're over exaggerating. Like, oh no, like I was a big unit. Can you please read some of these? I'm gonna like they, the bedwetters are the most creative bunch in the entire world. Like they are hilarious. So yeah. I posted a fat photo of myself as age eight, and these are some of the responses that people were DMing me. Yeah. Like I was like, I had to make a collage because I was pissing myself laughing. <laughs> Someone goes, Nonna's dead. I ate her. <laughs> <laughs> the exact oh. moment cankles were discovered. <laughs> the moment before realising the drumsticks aren't made out of chicken. <laughs> Pov, like point of view, you're my bowling ball. <laughs> Didn't realise the earth had a second moon. Didn't realise Miss Trunchbull had a kid. <laughs> Hang on. There's more. Oh, shit. Like, they're so creative. <laughs> I was like weeping. Oh, fuck me swinging. Just imagine being a cupcake, going about your business in the kitchen and seeing this face coming for you. <laughs> this is my favourite one. Uh, is that Tony Soprano? <laughs> the, tank. the Tank. Front row for the All Blacks. <coughs> Did they have to hold up a whole roast chicken behind the camera to get you to look and smile? <laughs> like a dog. Like a dog. Holy going, shit. Lou, over here. That Lou. is so fucking funny. Holy They're fuck. They're so creative. Dude, I wanted to, I might have to, um, they are very creative. I just wanted to play you something mm. that you sent to me. When you were on your uh, brunch bender, you sent me a voice memo. So this was at three in the Arvo. Mm -hmm. So if you've had your brenda, you're proper fucked. Like you sent me that photo of you. Yeah. Yeah, happy as Larry. Mm -hmm. And it just made me laugh how fucking pissed you are if you just want to, I've just connected. Yeah. It's just made me giggle. Oh, fuck, I've just gone fucking back the cunt. Hold on two seconds. So you said, I'm fucked, like wasted. We got cut off from brunch. She was like, that's enough. And I said, cut off from brunch to flex. And mm -hmm. then you sent me this. She came over. She was like, we were like, can we get another margarita? She's like, oh, no, like, um... <laughs> oh no like and we we're like what what do you mean and she was like oh yeah like you just can't get any more alcohol <laughs> <laughs> that laugh oh my that laugh at the end where you go <laughs> <laughs> Not even speaking English, like trying no. to tell the story doesn't even make sense. Yeah, you go. Like, I'm going, no, she I goes, was going like she goes like, and then I was like that like, nah. And that laugh you were so <laughs> Was, yeah, like I just listened to it about ten times. We were still drunk from the day before. Yeah, like what, yeah. When was that? It was the second, second or third. It was the second. Yep. <sighs> it was a big day. That's good, silly season. Been, shit, yeah, it's been, I like. Oh, obviously, bedwetters. This Friday is my singing performance. <sighs> it's time. Pretty I won't, pumped. Do you, you do you want to know what song? No, I don't. Okay, you want it to be a surprise. I, I, I truly want it to be a surprise. Okay. I want to see you walk up there. And then Hopefully not. in some fancy, flashy sort of fucking dress with tassels and shit. Yeah. And I just want to see you give it your all. Okay. Now, it's at the Robin Hood Hotel in Waverley. Yep. Bloody um, fucking... So the karaoke doesn't start until 10 or 10.30, Yeah, does 10 it? or 10.30, but we'll be there from probably 8.30. Yeah, I dare say so. So we'd love to see some bedwetters there. We'd love yeah. to have a yarn with you guys. We'd love some support. Obviously, if you're not going to be there... Like I don't want this to happen, but Jarch will go live on the We Mean Well. Oh yeah, Instagram. I'll be I'll be live streaming on We Mean Well. Yeah, the whole and show. I'll be singing my heart out like a really good singer. <laughs> it's gonna be. I just am so excited. This is the culmination of so many months. We had to move it, can it. No. Now she's on. I still don't want to do it. I know you don't. Just because, like, it. but I know once I have a couple of tequila, do you know what I'm going to do? This sounds like I've got an alcohol problem. I don't. Like I'm going to skull two rosés before I go on stage because yeah, rosé yeah. gets, like, just gives, gets me going. Yeah, the more fucked you are, the better it'll be. Yeah. But I want to be, like, good enough. And I you also need to be coherent. I don't need you sloppy no, fucking. No, head. trust me, mate. I'll command the entire Robin Hood. I respect that. But I want, a, like, a microphone stand so that I can, like, start off with the stand in the middle. And then I want it to be like, I'll take it out and like start rocking around. Okay. I'm going to pull you up at one point. Like I want you up there going. 
Okay. It's going to be hard to clap when I'm live streaming. True. I also love the fact that, like, at one, like, obviously I'm going to sing, but, like, I could, you know, like, start a chant or, like, I've got the microphone. I could say whatever I want. Yeah. Let's not go full dictator. <laughs> Maybe just sit, let's just sing the song as we've planned for the next <laughs> Yep, yep. yep. Uh, yeah. I've got a lunch that day, so I'll be coming in pretty hot. Yeah, I'm going to pace myself and probably not start drinking till about seven. Cause like, I, don't, I think that's wise. Yeah, like if I started, you know. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that's three and a half. That's three hours you got yeah. to fucking. Like if yourself. I started drinking at like three, that stage yeah. would be slop. I'd yeah. fall off. We need you at least relatively coherent. Trust me, I got this. I don't, yeah. Who's got this? Lou got this. <laughs> if anyone's wondering why it sounds echoey, I've got one of those children's microphones. Yeah. You think people figured that out? Mm, nah, I think, uh, yeah. La, la, la. Did you, can you buy like a mic that has auto tune in it or something no, like that? No, okay. because I don't need it. Okay. Because I'm really good. Will you post your singing lesson this Wednesday so people can see where you're at? Yeah, it's the last one. Good to know. She's going to be disappointed that I haven't been practicing enough. I did practice in front of my friends. Um, they thought the chorus was pretty good. Pretty good. Did, yeah, okay. They're also your friends. They're trying to be supportive. No, one of them's a really good singer, and she was like, look, but tone deaf and or like a bit... F- okay. Not, no, she didn't say... <laughs> <laughs> Love that you've taken... You're a bit tone deaf as she said it was really good. No. <laughs> Lou, it's pretty horrible. Uh, you're relatively tone deaf. Did you I don't say think you I should sound like Beyonce? <laughs> That's what I heard. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, I've got, like, Katy Perry, Beyonce vibes. Perfect. Perfect. Right right. See you Friday. <laughs> will she be there on Friday? Yeah. Everyone's going to be there. Everyone who's anyone will be there. Like, if you're not there, loser. Simply untrue, but... I beg to differ. Also, what I love about you is um, you you text us and you're like, you know, should we call the... Should we call yeah. the Robin Hood and like tell them that I'm coming and that I'm going to do a performance? And I was like, hey, Lou, it's um, Tranny Karaoke. Uh, there's going to be punters fucking everywhere just getting up and singing. Lucky I did call because I thought I was going to be on at like 9 p.m. I was surprised at how late it is. That's what I mean. Because whenever I've, I've been there. I've an early night. Whenever I've been there, I've been so fucked up. Yeah. That I didn't realise it was that late. You well, know I've what I mean? been on a 10 day Brenda, big f- breakfast bender. Like, Bre- I wanted an early night. And yeah, now it ain't gonna happen, it's not sis. happening. It ain't going to happen. What's the bit I do one song and then I'm like, hang on, guys, encore. Yeah, this and is. And they try to pull me off. No, mate, you've had your song. No, no, they want another one. Everyone's the, going, get off. Can I just Boo. Uh, Can I just say, uh, I think I might have said this before, but when I've been at the Robin Hood, don't, I know what you're going to say. Fucking sideways. You bring the house down. I drilled wagon wheel and got some free drink tickets out of it. I had that place jumping. So I'm gonna get the place jumping, jumping. Ladies, leave your man at home. <laughs> the club is full of balls and the <laughs> uh, Yeah, you will. Oh, well, we'll see you there, guys. Friday night. Pretty exciting stuff. I'm pretty pumped. For I'm it. pumped. Swish, swish. We know how bad a driver you are generally. Yes. I'm generally, generally not a bad driver. Yep. I'm all right. Today I did have to go, whoa, yeah, break, Yeah, you did. I was down. a bit distracted today. It wasn't yeah. my greatest. Mm-hmm. What I've realised is holiday driving, fucking, I hate holiday driving. As in you or everyone else? I hate it just because it's like, especially if I'm going home, like getting home, the roads are so fucking busy quite mm. often. It's just a two-laner. And it's like if there's a fucking caravan or if there's someone that's just going fucking slowly... You cook. There's zero chance. It fucks the whole drive. Yeah. <coughs> Traffic so. is so annoying as well. Merch like a zip, mate. Oh, mate. It's like, it's nightmarish. The good thing about it right now, in the city at least, is that it's school holidays. There's no cunt on the road. But I wanted to tell you this. Yeah, it just reminded me of it when I was driving home, <coughs> driving back from home to Sydney. Mm-hmm. Went past this spot. I was driving um, with my mate Corco. We are driving. It was like holiday time. We are driving back to Sydney. Anyway, I was going through Stroud Road, which is this small little sort of village. Now, people were really fucking me off this day because they were driving so slowly. <clears throat> and there's this big straight through the, through the village, which is about four or 500 metres long, maybe 500 metres long, mm. but it's a double liner. But the speed limit's 60, right? And I'm on this fucking, I'm getting down to this straight. Everyone's going 30 kilometres an hour. Mm. And I'm like, 
this is fucking ridiculous. There's one guy at the front who's just going 30 kilometres, which means everyone has to go 30 kilometres. I'm like, this is a 60 zone. And whilst it was a double line, I'm like, fuck them. I'm going round them. So I jump out because there's no car coming. It's a long straight road. You can yeah. see what's coming. But you're not meant to overtake on On double lines. But I'm like, fuck oh, it. Does double lines mean don't overtake? Don't overtake. Jesus Christ, Lou. <laughs> you should know that. You should know that. Oh. Why? Why can't you overtake on a double line? Because usually it's the place where you shouldn't overtake. It's is it dangerous? dangerous or just that yeah. the, the country's just decided don't do that? No, they've, they've, dis- they've estimated that's a place you can't overtake because it's dangerous. Okay, I'll keep that in my notebook. Yeah, maybe do. One of the most integral rules, I'd argue, on the road. Well, I mean, there's not much overtaking from, you know, Double Bay to Alexandria, is there? Yeah, it's a good point. Yeah. Like, the furthest I've driven is... But still, you should know the double yeah. lines. Man. I reckon on my... The biggest drive I've done to Hunter Valley, I probably overtook on double lines without realising. This is... Not this good? Not, illegal. It's not good. It's illegal. Arrest me. But in saying that, I did it, but I knew... You knew what you were doing. Yeah. And I knew there was no danger. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I'm fucking swinging out, and I'm only going about 60 kilometres an hour, and I'm passing everyone. The bloke who's going 30, hours, 30 kilometres an hour at the front then starts to speed up. He's like, fuck this bloke. You know what fucking parts it's over. And he's yeah. going like this, fuck you, fuck you. And I'm like, fuck you, cunt. You've been going 30 kilometres an hour. And I'm just trying to, so I actually have to put the foot down. And I eventually get around him and I'm like, what a fuckwit. Anyway, it pisses me off. And I keep going at my own speed. He, you know, reverts back to whatever he was doing. About 20 minutes later, Cork goes like, can I, can I, um, Matt, I've got to take a piss. I said, no, no worries. So I pull over to the side of the road. Now, this is when, I was nearly a victim of vehicular homicide. So, Cork goes out taking a piss. I jump out of the ute and I'm sort of standing by the cab and the tray of my ute and I'm just sort of on my phone, stretching my legs, you know, while Cork goes taking a piss. And I sort of just hear this... And I'm like getting louder and I sort of look to my right. There's this car speeding along the road and then he pulls, he turns off the road and is like, I'm like, what the fuck is this guy doing? And he's coming for me. And I'm like, holy fuck, I had to jump. If I didn't jump in the back of my ute, he would have run me over. I jump in the back of my ute and I'm like, and he goes, whoom, we're on the gravel. And he screeches his brakes. And I'm like, what the fuck? It was the guy that I'd overtaken who was like, tried to speed up and stop me from overtaking him. And then he starts spinning his tires, reverses back. I jump back on my into the ute again and I'm like what the fuck and I'm sort of sitting on the tray of my ute with my feet like on his uh, truck and he does, he's he got his window and he goes you're a fuckwit you're a fucking idiot and I'm so shocked by this you wit yourself no no I, I started laughing and I go what the fuck are you doing and he goes you fucking overtook me on double lanes you fucking idiot and I go, oh, yeah, this is the guy that... And I said, you sped up, you fuckwit. And he was like, um, you can't overtake on double lanes. And I, and I was going... And it's all sort of hitting me. Corko's taking a piss. He's cock in hand. Right. Sort of looking over his shoulder going, what the fuck is going on here? And this guy was like, he's screaming at me. And he was so angry that I couldn't help but sort of laugh. laugh. And I'm sort of maybe in shock that I nearly just got run over and this mm-hmm. guy tried to kill me. And I'm like, mate, you're a fucking maniac. I said, you were going 30 kilometres an hour. It doesn't matter. You shouldn't. And I said, well, you're the fucking cops. I said, get over it. You're a fucking, you're a moron. And he goes, um, he goes, I'll, I'll get out of this. I'll get out of this car. I'll get out of this car and fuck you up. And he was a bit of an older bloke. He would have been like 55 yeah. odd. And I was just like, I was like, mate. I was like, if you get out of if your you car. you get out of the car, the big dog judge. No, two tickets to yeah, the gun two show. two tickets. You're getting I was, But I was, I was seriously like, I don't care how old you are. I'm like, I'm going to hurt you if you get out of your vehicle. Because I'm like, it's all hitting me now. This guy literally tried, tried to, to run me over. You could have been For dead. going over double lines. It could have been we did well. Yeah, we, we did well. We, we did well. That's not your best. Sorry. I respect the effort. You wouldn't be here. Yeah, so it'd just be I mean well. Yeah. Back to our meanwhile. Pat, well, I wouldn't mind it. Oh, kidding. <laughs> JJ. What? JJ. What? No. And um, this fucking maniac was so cranky, screaming at me, screaming at me. And he goes, I'm, I'm going to call the cops on you. And I said, cunt, you're going to call the cops. 
I said, you just tried to run me over. Yeah. What's worse, the double lines or vehicular homicide? Attempted murder. Attempted murder. Like he, he legit could have been done for dude, attempted murder. he truly tried to hit me. So if you called the cops and said, I've just been tried to be done for attempted murder, would would that take, would you, would, sorry, would it get him okay. to, would it? So glad you do a podcast sorry. where you need sorry. to be relatively articulate. Would, would you be able to take him to court? I dare say so. For attempted? I've got a witness. For attempted murder. Even though Corco's doing one of the great ways of all time. He still saw the attempted murder. He, he, I don't think he saw it, but he, he, um. He heard it. And then saw the other thing. Because you tried to hit me again. <laughs> <when he> <laughs> it's the wheels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It's him stopping and breaking in front of you. I understood what it was. Pretty good. Any movie? Anyway, that's a good way to kill a story. So, yeah, I nearly got murdered through holiday traffic. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear. Well, then he took off, and I was like, fuck this. And I was like, Corgo, get in the ute. And we jump in the ute, and he, cause he, he spins the wheels and takes off. Realizes and sort of he's his about car to get arrested. Going. And I just tailgated the bloke for the next four. Like, I was on his ass. For like 40 Ks. Yep, until he turned off. <laughs> Wanted to kill him. But he tried to kill me. That doesn't mean you can just go kill him. Well, I obviously would never do that. But you thought about it. Well, I was just very, I was just, after, it was so shocking at the start, it was funny. And then mm. after, a while, after a while, when I was driving with Cork, I was like, hey, man, that guy actually tried to fucking prop and... Murder you? Yeah, make me brown bread. I don't think I've ever been attempted to murder. The closest I've come to murder... I've been pretty fucking close <laughs> to you a couple of times. <laughs> Is you just jumping over here and strangling me yeah. for being so annoying. There's been a couple of times. Yeah. The SpongeBob times and just, like, when you talk and, like, whenever you sort of speak and, like, whenever, like, you're, I'm with you and that. You know, bye, bye, bye. You can't. It's right? No, 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 none of it. Sorry. Have you ever had a near-death experience? Well, I got my pinky chopped off in the door. <sighs> yeah, right. That's a good one. Yeah. Oh, actually. Nearly bled out. Not really. Oh. Well, I tripped on a bath of alcohol and lost my tooth. That's true. You actually could have died. You did have a near-death experience. What? Well. Potential heart failure, as a as a minor, <laughs> you were so much closer to death than you ever knew. <laughs> so much closer than you ever knew. You didn't know, but that thing was Mom pumping dad, away. Mum and dad just like like hounding me to do sports, soccer, cycling, <laughs> just figure put, skating. But ease her into it. Oh, the, only re- the only reason don't I don't do it on a lake, figure skating. <laughs> you're under the ice. Yeah, that's where you're ending up, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Let me out, Mum and Dad. Your fault, mate, for being 200 kegs as an eight-year-old. Correct. Ah, oh, take me back. You don't want to be back there, buddy. No, I don't. Don't take me back to the Twinkie days. <laughs> don't take me back to eating 20 chicken nuggets in one sitting. I still do that. Yeah, it's same, but like it's different I've if you're so age eight. I've fucking poorly. Don't. I, I couldn't tell you the last time I had a vegetable. Like, I've just been living off fries and tequila and Mate, Prosecco. Yeah. Yeah, fucking oath. It's disgusting. I'm like, I was good. But then again, I'm like, fuck, you know how February is like the Tuesday of the year? You know, Tuesday is the worst day of the week. Mm. February is like the Tuesday of the year. I'm doing. So that's when I'm going to chill out in February. I'm doing um with um Charlie Long and Henry King. We're doing, is it the hard 30. Hard 30 or whatever, no alcohol, exercise once outside a day, once inside a day. I don't think you'll do it. Really? Nah. Do you know, when I said that out loud, I knew in my gut I wouldn't do it. I could feel it almost. Yeah, I could feel it. I thought, hang on a moment, exercising twice a day and not a sip of alcohol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, not for me. I don't, yeah, it's Sorry, boys, you'll find out here I won't be doing it with you. Neither's Henry, you're not doing that. No, neither's Longy. They're fucking piss wrecks. They're worse than me. Well, you're all as bad as each other. Yeah. But fuck it, am I fucking too yeah, tough? Yeah, I was about to like, say, mate, my having, you, you'll go to work today and you'll go, you'll accidentally pop whiskey in your coffee without thinking, and you go, shit, I'm not yeah, on yeah, holiday. Yeah, it's almost fucking muscle memory. Yeah. It's a good, it's, I think it's good to take a break occasionally, but to be honest, whenever I've, I have did fucking two months off the piss, I actually did a year off the piss when I was like seven, eight. Wow. But, which fucking sucked, but I fucking bloody... Did like eight weeks off the grogs. And I'll be honest, 
I didn't feel that much. I better. agree. My thing is is moderation. Like on Friday night, I had like three, like a glass of red wine and two tequilas. Uh. And they were like, strong to get. It was like, I made myself double shots. And we were just sitting around playing board games. Yeah. And it was like the perfect evening. Like, I was a bit tipsy. was asleep by 11. Like, I don't want to stop drinking. I enjoy it. Yeah. I just want to stop going out till 5 a.m. Yeah, yeah. I You're know. the same. Yeah, I, I agree with like, you. Like, I love a casual schnitty and a, you know, skilly. Yeah, mate. Yeah. You're like one of the boys, Lou. Give me a stone and wood and oh, pops your uncle. Stone and, and wood. Drop a knee and, yeah, go the rabbit hose. Up the roosters. <laughs> Yeah, the the wallabies are on. Ah, oh, over from Brendan Gilhurst. What? Giltrap. <laughs> that cricket player. <laughs> oh no, six love to Federer. Fuck. Nothing more you love, Lou, than just being with the boys. A few darries, bit of a slap, fucking <sighs> watching the boys play. Yeah, eh? you got. I go, hold on, hold that yarn, boys. Got to go outside for a winnie blue. For a piss. <laughs> you duck outside in the gutter. <laughs> <laughs> you drive Sorry, past. Sorry, boys, I'm going, uh, I'm going outside for a piss. You drive past the row. I was just me just having popping a, durry, a squat. Popping a squat, having a darry. Hey, Darcy. There you go, come in, mate. I'm in a swan dry. <laughs> And but work a What's a swan dry? Oh, the, like the flannel. Oh, flannel. Yeah, 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 you're in a flannel. I'm like, come in, mate. The boys are in the pokies. And you don't even. I'm manning the table. You're wearing footy shorts. You just pull your footy shorts to the side. <laughs> pop a squat. Have a day. Yeah, mate. Do you know that happened to me How once? How long you been here, Lou? Oh, three days. <laughs> <laughs> Slept at the Rojo. That happened to me once when I was like a kid. What? You... No, this bit, we were at the pub. Like our parents were at the pub and we mm -hmm. were sort of just running around. <laughs> And um, this bird was outside smoking, and she's like, what are you boys doing? And we're like, mm -hmm. oh, nothing, we're just playing tip or something like that, you know? And she's like, yeah, right, are you, just, are you having fun? And as she's talking to us, she just hitches her skirt up. She's like, yes, having fun? <laughs> yeah, man, me hubby. And then she just squats in the gutter and just starts pissing. I'm eight. I'm eight years old playing tip with my friends. <laughs> she, wants, she had a full conversation with me while taking a piss. Would that be indec indecent? Yeah, <laughs> especially around children. Thank you. <laughs> you can't be doing that. You can't that. be doing She was very, very drunk. You'd hope so. Yeah. See, I, like, you know I've got the weakest bladder in the whole of Australia. Yeah. I'd even wig out, like, sober pop in a squat, like, any, well, <laughs> shut up. I'm not doing, uh, I'm not popping a squat anyway. What I mean is, like, if I was on a road trip and was, like, busting, I'd as much as I could hold on for the like, nearest toilet. Really? Like, I don't, I, just the thought of popping a squat on the side of the road. A lot harder for birds. A lot yeah. easier for us. That's what I mean. It's simple. Just flop it out. Or just, like, if you've got, like, a button cock, you've just got to undo your fly and just hope that you don't piss on yourself. A button cock? Yeah. Is that just when it's little? Yeah. <laughs> Like a button. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cute. You know what I mean? Who's got a button cock? <laughs> button cock. Oh, that would be, like, sad if someone referred to your penis as a button. Yeah, I hated when my ex-girlfriends used to say that. Hey, button judge. <laughs> hey, little button boy. He was like, what are you doing, Do button you know cock? the button man? <laughs> he lives in Rolls Bay. <laughs> Do you know... The button man? The button man? The button man! <laughs> Cock like a button. Oh, uh, how good. Like father, like son. Oh, yeah. Wreck dad. Yeah, wreck dad. <laughs> hey, should we play some red like greeny? Yeah, fucking oath. Cool. Sorry, guys, she's texting. So, sh yeah, just finish your texts, mate. <laughs> Whoever you text. Or just finish whatever you're doing with the DMs or whatever, mate. No, just, mate, yeah, no, just finish me. That. It's only a podcast. Excuse me, senorita. <laughs> senorita. Do you, a, do you have a fucking song. theme song for Red Light, Green Light? Maybe do it in the uh, a similar theme to the song you're singing this Friday. Red light, green light. <laughs> <laughs> Tobs. Tobs, do you know what she's singing? I've told oh, her. shit. Okay. Okay. Do you want to go first? I'll go first. Okay. Red Light, Green Light. Musical theatre. Green! Fuck, I'm red. So you wouldn't go to the theatre? Musical, Musical. theatre. You know the worst thing that can happen? If you're getting into a, some sort of a story, it's like, 
Oh my God. They killed my brother. My brother's dead. He's dead. My brother's dead. He's dead. How'd they kill him? We don't know yet. But my brother, he's dead. He's dead. It's the worst fucking thing. We could do a musical for Toby. <laughs> Toby the Coggy has passed away. He's cremated and dead. And we got his paw prints on a piece of paper. And Jill's going to frame it. Yeah, it makes Toby's death fucking hilarious. Get- Too soon. Sorry, Jill, Frank, I love you. Too soon. <laughs> but it did. But you see how you completely removed but from it? But like any, when you go, you know. Never she's- seen it. Well. Nah. The sun will come Is out. Is that what the song you always sing? Tomorrow. Nah, enough. Now. But you, but uh, what about chim chimney, chim <laughs> chimney, chim chim chiru? Nah, what? I think that's Oliver Twist. I don't give and he's a He's like fuck. the little boy, like shoveling. I like, understand what cold. Oliver Twist is, mate. Please, oh. sir, can I have some yeah. more? Please, sir, can I have some more? But like. One o'clock, wallow in self pity. That's the Grinch. That's sorry. That's not a musical. It's just again rattling off quotes. Wow. Yeah, it's brilliant. Um, the the. But do you know what I mean? I just can't stand it when they all break out in song. Yeah, I'm not like, for well, you. But like, fuck it. Did you hear how well Hamilton went? Don't care. But apparently it was phenomenal. I don't care. Well, uh, apparently there was like a they rapped in it. I, that to me is fucking lame. No, it was really good. Like Hamilton doing a jewel. No, his final did- jewel. It's like. Yo, I'm about to jewel you. We're about to shoot. Then when I win, I'll go get a root. That's exactly what they did. Is it? Is that they want to get a root after he no, shoots? No. Yeah. See, like, that to me, I would fucking die of cringe. I'm gonna take. I'd be you like to, a sultana. I'm gonna take you to a musical theater. Uh, it ain't. It ain't for me, but. Oh, I would love it. Would you ever go? No, actually, you'd hate that. Opera. That, yeah. Fuck no. I, I'd go for the experience of saying Time I've gone to an opera. To Don't try and do opera. Don't try and do opera. Say goodbye. <laughs> Fuck. I you, do. out of all people I know, would hate musical theatre. Yeah. yeah. I was in a musical theatre once. What was it called? Can't Get remember. off the stage. <laughs> Rick. <laughs> um, oh, well, it's big green for me. Yeah, I don't doubt a fucking. I knew it would be. Hundred percent. All you do is fucking walk around singing and yeah. shit. As My life's bad as a musical. Are. Can I please get your life get is a joke? <laughs> <laughs> Can I please get a decaf ice long black? Oh, maybe tomorrow I'll get an ice long black. Caught a strength with a dash of almond milk. You know what you should get a dash of? Humility. <laughs> with your coffee, huh? Get a dash of hu. Leave the milk out, all right? Okay. You've got a lactose intolerance, so leave the milk out. And just ask for a dash of fucking humility. No. Show some respect. No. Show some goddamn respect. R-E-S-P-E-C. Okay, nah, it's enough. (laughs) Okay, it's enough. Now, what have you got? Um... Red light, green light, Uh, reminding someone what they did when they were drunk. (sighs) You know, it's both because it's green when you want to do it to someone and then red when it gets happened to you. Done to you. (laughs) Depending on what it is, like if someone's wasted and they've made like a fool of themselves, mouth shut, key key thrown away, like padlock. But if it's like something cracker, you must chat about it. Yeah. Yeah. I I agree. It's like, you know, if you've... It's an orange light. (laughs) It is a bit, it's one of the rare oranges because... I hate if you've had a massive night and, you know, every now and then you have a night where you might black out. Yeah. Yeah, and you're like, oh, what I do if someone's like, oh, remember when you did this at the pub? Shut up. Shut but your you know, sweet trap immediately. There are, but they're those motherfuckers that revel in that shit. I know. It's and like they the, go, oh, you should have seen you last night. Shut did you show yourself last night? It's like, yeah, but they talk like yeah, that's how they talk. Bro, did you show yourself yeah. last night? <laughs> Did you show yourself? You just got shit face. You yeah. shit face, mate. That's, that's literally fucking awkward. Oh, Oi, fuck you. You fucked. fucked. You fucked up. You're fucking yeah, fucked. Yeah, I was fucked up, mate. Because yeah. like, we went for the pub at lunch and we left at fucking 2 a.m. Yeah. It's like, yeah, guess what? So leave me be. I was a little drunk. That's why I like being drunk around like the safety of my mates, who yeah. it doesn't matter what happened. Like when we went on our girls' trip, like we're all wasted and it's just crack up. Who cares, you know? Yeah. 
<laughs> so that's an Ori? Phenomenal lot of anecdotes. Um, is that's that an, an orange. An Ori? Because, yeah, you got there's those cocksuckers that'll always do it. Mm. And you're like, I wasn't even that bad. No. But I feel like they may have felt bad, anxious about themselves, so they're trying to drag yeah, you into that, say, that, to, that That's pit. what narcissists do. That's why you always do it. I never do it because I'm not a narcissist. We're not using that word on the podcast in 2023. Oh, you're banning words now. I'm, yep. You're like the German dictatorship. You're like the fucking Third Reich. You can't say that. What, you can't say that they, they banned words and shit? Oh, uh, can you? They were trying to inhibit speech. Okay, well, uh, yeah, we're not allowed to say it anymore. Um, I'm working with Hitler. Okay. Um, red light, green light. Like mein Kampf. Mein Kampf? <laughs> yeah, it's too smart for her. What's, my, what's Mein Kampf? Like Minesweeper? <laughs> you know that game? <laughs> what's Mein Kampf? <laughs> mein Kampf. Wait, let me guess what it is. Mein oh, Kampf. Oh, fuck me. Is it like a type of... Like a type of... Like s- something like therapy brain work? <laughs> it was the book that Hitler wrote. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you really got to read a bit more, eh? No, you know I'm a big reader. <laughs> Thank God you haven't read that book. No, Judge. What? <laughs> you can't That's be. No. That was a great joke that rolled on from our previous. I realised that. Yeah. But now I feel like an idiot. <laughs> a big dummy. <laughs> That's not my fault. Yeah, I guess it's mine. It is. I must learn more. You know, well, I'm dumb as fuck too. Don't worry about it. I just knew okay. a book. Um, red light, green light. Not washing your hands after a wee. Ah, oh, the silence tells me you you Can don't I? do it every time. I don't do it every yeah. time. Like you know, there's like if you're out and about in public, obviously you're in like a public toilet. But like uh, sometimes you might do a pee at home and like. Go off and do something else. Absolutely. fucking lovely. Okay, good. Thank God. Skulls, he's got a theory that he goes, he, he's... One of my friends never does. And she's, yeah. she goes to me once, she goes, fuck, it must suck. Because like some people might recognise you sometimes out and about that you have to like wash your hands in public. And you're like, nah. I'm like, nah, I'll just wash them anyway, mate. I'm, I'm out in the gutter, mate, having a durry. Don't worry about me. There ain't no washing. <laughs> There's no washing right, That's this. a drip dry. Um, Skulls, he reckons, he, it actually infuriates him. He's like, oh, oh, I never, I never wash my hands after I take a piss. He's like, I'm a fucking adult. I don't get piss on my hands. He goes, my cock is clean. If anything, my hands are filthy. I should See, wash I my cock. I think it's a bit different for you guys because you're holding your penis, uh, whereas a girl, you're just wiping your vagina. Which I think is different. Where but you're not touching your vagina. It's just yeah, toilet but you probably paper. will just accidentally. No, you've got a lot of toilet paper, mate. It's just a clean wipe. Yeah, but it feels to me like that's dirtier. You're holding your dick. Yeah, well, what's what's your dick doing? It's just in your pants. Well, it's been sitting there st- just stinking out your undies all day. <laughs> <laughs> We're so childish. No shit, mate. Like, mate, I'm 29, you're 33. Uh, we speak like 22-year-olds. Uh, Will we grow up? No, 20, don't flatter us with 22. 19? 17, 16. <laughs> We're like Peter Pan, the two boys that wouldn't grow up. The two we fellas. are two boys, the two fellas, the, the two, fellas, the yeah, two the blokes, legs that wouldn't grow up. The chaps, the gents. The the buddies, the, the pals. Yep. My turn? Yep, your turn. Great, so we're both fucking green. Just don't worry about it too much. I'll do it 50% of the time. Okay. Red light, green light. Cyclists taking up the entire lane. <sighs> I've just become really cranky. Red. Red, red, red. I fucking hate them. Right, it's like the footpath. Walk if... If you're going on a walk and it's a big footpath, fine, two and two. If you use like four of you on a walk, single file. If you are riding oh, in a big fucking I've become, clang I've become when you're cycling, single file, mate. You know what fucks me off? Oh. Some cockhead. It's fucking peak hour traffic. Yep, they're riding in two, you know chit-chattering. What? Or just they're going up a hill and they're going on that fucking first gear or whatever it is and they're going, but they're going two kilometres an hour and they take up the whole fucking lane. It's like, you know what, fuckhead, get on the footpath. Yeah. Because you, you're not going to hurt anyone because no. you're going so slow. So slow. Get the fuck off the road. They sh- Steph really gets cranky with how cranky I get with mm, them. I can imagine, you. Yeah. I fume, mate. I'm trying to be better at my uh, anger. Road rage. Road rage. I, this has brought up yeah. some shit with me. I can feel it. I'm your f- face is red. Mate. It, I, I, you're, yeah, your wrist, you're like... <clears throat> 
they just really fuck me off. Yeah. It's selfishness. Well, it's like, just go single file. Or just get a car. No, people use it for a form of exercise, fuck Judge. Them. Then don't, then don't fucking inconvenience every other person because you want to go, go for a run, you fuckwit. Okay. I'm sorry. A lot of anger here. I'm so Cycling sorry. Cycling in the bush is different because you can just do it anywhere and you're not slowing anyone down and it is what it is. Yeah, in but mate, you can't cycle in the bush. There's yes, bloody you can. Kangaroos and, and stubble and rubble. Stubble? And, uh, like rubble and rocks rubble? and shit. What, are, what, we all live in quarries? <laughs> you know, the ro- <laughs> in my head the roads are like, Orange and there's just dust everywhere and there's like kangaroos and snakes and a lot of uneven you know up and down roads. Yeah, like. no, we don't have tarred roads and um we've got this new thing that they're introducing with us these um bloody boxes what you can watch pictures on. Yeah, oh, in the you bush know and what that. I mean. And um, but the roads would be more uneven than they would in the city. Look, in some places, so fine. So dangerous, but dangerous to go for a road bike. Perhaps you br- Wait, bring you your going, mountain bike what, there. What's wrong with a gravel road? We'll take your mountain bike there. Because it could be dangerous. I, it's way more dangerous. There's, You know, on a motorcycle in the city, it's eight times the fatality rate in the city than it is in the bush. I thought about getting a scooter today. Did you? And then everyone... Well, i got my motorbike. We could scoot around together. That'd be yeah. fun. And then everyone goes, nah, better not. Yeah, Luke. you shouldn't. No, 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 you shouldn't. Well, just imagine me on like a cute, like baby pink or baby green. Yeah, but then imagine Vespa. your head over there and your body over here. Not, not it, as cute. Not, yeah, not as cute as I imagine. Not as, you, pure decapitation isn't <laughs> as cute as you think. No. Well, that just suddenly my brain went to imagine if a shark just bit me in the middle and my head's over here and my legs are there. I don't know why. Somehow you'd still be fucking talking Probably. or singing. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be going, da da <laughs> Da-dum, da-dum, he's coming da-dum, again. Da-dum, da-dum. Yeah. Ooh, is he going to get my head? Is he going to get my legs? Yeah. My whole body's gone. It'd take more than a shark to shut you up. More than a huge great white. More than, yeah, 16 ton foot. 16 subways. 16 meatballs. <laughs> shark. God, a big Jesus mama. Christ. A big old mama. Right, so fucking red to cyclists. Yeah, red. I'm proud of you for getting your exercise in, but just not on my fucking time to see what the... Oh, Bedwetters Hotline. Thanks for everyone calling in. You've called in a lot. It's bloody red hot. Love it. Fucking love it. Everyone says to me it's their favourite part of the pod. True. Because there's just so much content in the Bedwetters. It's probably my favourite part. Mm, I really get excited. I reckon we need to mix it up a bit and not just put it at the end. I love it at the end because it's something to look forward to. Okay. But we can. You're a creature of habitat. I am am habit. 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 Um... We could look into something like that. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Play me the first red light, green light, Jack Edward Archdale. Oh, it sounds like I'm about to do a raffle. All right, we've got number 101 for the meat pack at the Walker Fair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it goes to... Who? Prudence Mayfair. Good name thinking. Oh, Think of another name. And it goes to... Catherine Dongle. <laughs> Another name. And it goes to John Beatfoot. Another name. And it goes to Claire Poland. <laughs> Claire. Another, name. Another name. And it goes to Bruce Vinyl. <laughs> it's not bad. Maybe I found another talent. It tailed off at the end with yeah. Poland and Vinyl, but it, it was Do pretty Do you know good. I was looking around the room? Another right? name. Sorry, and it goes to Stephen Kirsten. That was the best one. Was it? Yep. You know where I got that from? Where? So the pole, and I saw the pole that you play um, pool with. Vinyl, I saw the ground. So I thought, you know, like vinyl floor. Yeah. And then Kirsten, I saw the curtains. Oh, really? So mixed them into Kirsten. That's how you've done it. Well, Judge, we all know that I did impromptu when I was younger as a child for speech and drama, so that's where my skill of impromptuness comes into play. Wasn't that impromptu if you're just using shit around the room? Well, the first ones weren't. It was straight from my brain. They were, they were good. <laughs> they were really good. They were really good, Luke. They were really good. Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, if anyone's looking for a fair um, commentator, you know you know where to find me. Yeah. Oh, do you need a fair commentator that will just name people who don't exist? No, I can read off the, the fair little number. You can't one. read. True. All right, Bedwood a hotline. This one just came in this morning, so we'll just, let's see what they got. Okay. Ladies, what's going on? Ladies. Um, got a theory. Um, I know why everyone calls Lou Lou, because she's so full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Rats. <laughs> 
That is I great. I love the bedwetter. That is great. God, they're good. I'm ashamed of myself that I've never thought of that. Yeah. That's fucking red That's hot. That's really good. You're full of shit, Lou. Mm. And when she's walking, she's a portal Lou. So, portable Lou. It's not as good. Not as good, mate. Leave it to the bedwetter. I'll leave the it jokes, to the bedwetter. Eh? Yeah. Um, okay. Right. Let's see what this bedwit has got to say. Right. Hey, lads. Um, shocking on your behalf today, Lou. Um, thanks for joining the podcast. Can't wait for I mean well. Cheers, lads. <laughs> yeah, that would have been the SpongeBob laugh. Probably. Yeah. This is just a full wrecking of me. When is it even not, though, you know? Yeah. G'day, champos. <laughs> um, so is it just me or did anyone else spot um, eight-year-old Lulu at Christmas sleep, at Christmas Eve delivering presents? <laughs> Rex. <laughs> Fuck me. This is a fucking, this, this is, is literally... an unintentional roast of Lou. This, yeah, you don't even need to do a roast. Bruh, we just get the bedwetters to do I it. I fear he can reckon when we do the next roast, I'm just going to put it to the bedwetters. Seriously, just get them to DM you all the things. <laughs> um. Hey, girlies. Uh, what's um, up, baby? Got a yarn for you about bedwetting. I was uh, in, I was, uh, well, yeah, you know the, um, well, when you, <laughs> anyway, when Gandhi. <sighs> you got it. All right, catch you, lad. Okay, yeah. It Holy was a... <laughs> fuck, that was good. <laughs> that was good. She got me at first. I was like, oh, Same. come on. I was like, like, oh, fuck, she's awkward. panicking. Yeah. Oh, God, that makes me so happy. Yeah, that was fucking red hot. Okay. Um, one more. Two more. Morning, Jen. <laughs> Just had a little thought. I've been going for me morning coffee walk. Right the coast at the moment. Great old bar. Walked past about six people. Got a morning, mate. How you going? From Just about every single one of them. You do that in fucking Sydney. And they think you're a fucking psychopath. Correct. I know what it's like for you fellas. But I know Jack probably hit the same thing in out the country. I don't know what it's like in New Zealand because you're all a bunch of weird cunts, Lou. Anyway, it's out. Yeah. It's true though. Same as Naruma. Morning walks. Morning. Everyone's so friendly. There's just something about the city and the east where it's like you're a psycho. You it, say hi. It doesn't even matter where you are. It just... Yeah, it's just a different. It's just different. Different breeds. Love that. Love the good mornings. Everyone's having a good morning. The sun's out. Morning, mate. Yeah. How are ya? What coffee order you get? Decaf ice long black, mate. What are you? Cappuccino normal milk. Oh, you bloody mad bastard. Yeah, You're crazy. Free and you fucking go skim milk, would you, for your bloody yeah, your big tum tum soft cunt. Well, you wouldn't say that to a stranger. You never know. You wouldn't. You never know. When do you reckon, I reckon someday soon it'll be appropriate to just be like, to your barista, morning cunt. It will be. How are ya? We're getting there. We'll be the first nation in the world, we're, but we're getting oh, there. Just uh, large fries and that quarter check over there, thanks cunt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number 86, cunt. Cunty McCunt. Yep. Cheers cunt. No worries cunt. Okay, one more. Yep. One more for Jachi. Thank you. Hey, you pisses, Tobs. I uh, hope you're all well. Uh, i got a bit of a yarn for you. We do an annual trip down the coast to a uh, sevens competition every year. It's just a bit of a fucking boys' trip getaway piss up. Anyway, this one of the boys was sleeping on the lounge. Uh, we woke up in the morning, pissed himself on the lounge. Uh, anyways, he took off that day, took both pillows with him, got them reupholstered so they didn't stink or fucking mould up, brought them back the next week, and my mother knows absolutely nothing about it. Fuck, that's so, good. So, what a fucking way to get it done. Anyway, I'm about to shit myself. Talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you reckon he was on the loo about uh, to go? Sounds like he was, yeah, fuck. It sounds like he was driving. <clears throat> that's but genius, though. Like, the mum will never know. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Most people would just go, oh, I'll chuck him through the wash. I'd do the classic flip him. 
yuck. Yeah, you, you know what you'd do? The piss and flip. You'd get a heater and just... <laughs> Correct. Heat it out or a fan. Correct. I just fucking out. blow dry that shit and out. And the mum's sitting there with her friends for a nice glass of rosé and she's going, does this sound like piss to you? <laughs> yeah, it's, this rosé is disgusting. Oh, yuck. It tastes What's good, that? but it just smells a bit off. A bit off. Um, oh, those are some really good bedwetters. They were great bedwetters. The hotlines are so good. Thanks so much, guys. Would love if you guys would send through. Obviously, I won't hear them till next week, but um, even on the DM, send through some. Um, what's the right word? Like good luck messages for me singing this Friday, or just come on down. Yeah, yeah, either or. You've got a few good luck messages, but yeah. people bedwetters being like, "Fuck, you'll be right, mate." Uh, she went for a walk this morning. This guy points to me and he goes, "Wait, bedwetters for life. Good luck for Friday." I was like, thanks, mate. Fuck yeah, Brown Rose Bay. Whoever that was, thanks, mate. Appreciate it. That's you deadly. better be there Friday, or I'll be fucked off. That's grouse. Yeah. Fucking um. Yeah. No. Yeah. Good. Good. Great potty. Yeah. A bit of fun. I feel like we were both like quite onto it today. Mate, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling bloody bit fresh. Ready for 2023. And we'll call it a day. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. Find us on TikTok at We Mean Well. And find us on Instagram at We Mean Well. And our socials at Jarchi89 and at Louisa Delden. And as they say, Ciao and Nikkeau. Yeah. Bye, you bedwetters. Hooray.